Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to use Google Maps with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So let's get started. I have this blank Visual Basic project made and uh, I will go to the toolbox and search for the tool called split container and I will drag and drop inside my form. What with this split container does is this enables us to resize our panel right like this. That's, that's why I'm using this split container. And then inside my second panel, I am going to go to my toolbox and drag and drop a web browser inside my second panel. In here, it will search for the Google Maps and show the options, right? And in here, in the first panel, I'm going to take four text boxes. Text box one, two, three, and four and four labels label one two three and four and i will change the text of these labels as street city zip not zip but first the state and then the zip state and zip so what I'm showing you is it's not necessary that uh, you need to search on the basis of all four parameters you can either enter one parameter or you can either enter two parameter three parameter it depends upon the user it's not necessary that you have to enter all the four parameters together okay so now i will change the text box name first text box name is text box underscore street Second text box name is text box underscore city. Third text box name is text box underscore state. And fourth text box name is text box underscore zip. This should be underscore. And I'm going to take a button and I will change its text as uh, search search now I'm going to just double click this button and in here I'm going to write the code for searching whatever I enter in my text boxes and show it in the web browser in Google Maps but first of all I will import one library import system dot text and in here then I will declare four variables dim street is equal or as string is equal to text box for street dot text right in the same way I will declare this for all the text boxes for street city state and name so second is city state zip and this should be text box underscore city this should be textbox underscore state and the four is textbox underscore zip. Now I will make a try catch block, so just write try catch and inside my catch block I will write a message so that if some exception occurs it will show some message, right? So exception 
will come here. So unable to retrieve data. Okay, and inside my text try block, <coughs> I will declare a new variable called dim query address as new string builder and once again I will use this query address and I will write query address dot append and in here I'm going to write the address of Google Maps right so this is uh, the address I'm going to write just write HTTP colon slash slash maps dot google dot com slash maps question mark q is equal to and then we will make some if conditions so just write if your text box name so your text box name for first text box is text box dot text box underscore street dot text is not equal to so just write this string dot empty then what you are going to do is just append this query address your street so just query address append and inside this just copy the name of your street and then just write this so plus not this one but just write this plus and double quotes and this and sign plus double quotes and in here just write comma and in the second double quotes just write plus so what this code will do is it will append this street what we have entered in the text box street and it will add it here so this will be the link is equal to the street name will come here if there is something in your text box otherwise it will go to the next if, if condition so in the same way I will just copy these four times so first was for street second is for city just write city here third is for state so just write state here state and fourth condition is for zip and we are also going to change text box name second is for text box city third is for text box uh, state and fourth is for text box zip and at the last once we have our query we just need our web browser so just copy the name of your web browser which is this one the browser one and just say dot navigate and just copy the name of your query address dot to string so that's it this is the code now I'll run the code and in here for example I want to search for the city called Frankfurt and I will click the search and we'll see the map of Frankfurt city and for example I want to search for some street in Frankfurt so I will write some street in Frankfurt and search for it and it will search for this street in Frankfurt so in this way you can search any city or street or straight or zip or you can enter your other conditions like longitude latitude or other country name you can search using this code so i hope you have enjoyed enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now